and welcome to Zach 103 TV. Today we're going to be racing Indianapolis here in the NCCRS. Last race was at Darlington, and that was low key a wreck fest, but uh, Nimrod, in a very Nimrod like fashion, ended up getting her first career win in the NCCRS and is um, uh, just announced recently they're not going to be returning to Dawn Patrol Motorsports uh, quite literally after that win. So, um, anyways, Eric Monaco is starting pole, getting that 10 point bonus. He's currently eight, uh, five points below the cut line, so great way to start the race for him. Uh, and we also got uh, Bobby Isaac in here chimes in everyone now, every, every now and then if, when he's like. Right, and we got Reggie Fogelman. Um, Y'all got any first thoughts? Reggie, don't drive. Just over the thing in the ring fest like last week. Last week. Yeah, last week was forgettable. Um, I, I mean, yeah, the racing. See the, uh, I have a feeling we're going to see like, the old, old trick where you go down, possibly. Somebody's going to get pulled back up into the high line, and they're just going to fall back. I, I just kind of have a feeling we're going to see that groove happen. Where the ones go low, they kind of get that better run, and then eventually when they get to the front, by one by one, they'll just go up, and they'll kind of fall back on the top line. And Bobby, wait for bring that subject up, too. Hmm? I am announcing that I'm stepping out of the series, and I'm still going to be an owner next year, but I'm not going to drive. All right, well, so. you heard it here. Nice. And NC Service, Indianapolis Race, where you right. men will not be returning to the Cars and Cup Series as a driver, but as an owner, uh, not owner, it will be the first time he won't be an owner driver, but just as an owner in Cars and Cup Series next season. All right. Again, uh, last week's owner, Nimrod. Uh, points leader situation right now is actually tighter than it was week before. Um, so, Shred and Frank Chilton both got their first DNFs of the season last week. Uh, they were the, they're actually the only two drivers in the field prior to that race not to have a single DNF for the season, um, exempting the uh, three guys who debuted last week. Um, that uh, has now uh, chin shifted to so pretty much every driver except for the Victor Nunez and all those guys that made a debut last week have a DNF at least one this season. Uh, and those are two points leaders, and Space Guide in the 22 had a pretty good race at Darlington, led some laps, almost actually ended up winning the race, but got passed in the last lap by Nimrod uh, after a full send in turn one. Um, they're actually uh, second in points, got around Frank Chilton, and all of all three of which are within 16 points of each other, so we could see Space Guide potentially take the points lead, or Frank Chilton. That, or Shred, could still defend that points lead, despite not having a single win, but being very consistent and uh, fast um, so far. About 20 seconds or so until the call of the engines. Again, Monaco starting first. Two uh, two wins this season, starting second. Uh, uh, Sabre Fox, consistent enough to stay inside the playoff bubble. Hopefully that carries on. And Monster starting third, fourth, Patrick Miller, and then fifth place is Aztec Lovett. As we're getting the call for the engines now. Drivers, start your engines. Sixteen laps here today. Hopefully all of which are in the green. I don't even know. I just don't. I, I know what to expect to an extent. And our top three has tricked me several times. It has disappointed me several times. I just, like I said, for all we know, we probably see that bottom run, and then maybe they could go up and fall back. Who knows? It's just the way the physics are. Who knows? Alright, about to get the green here. As we come to the line. Green, 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 green. <laughs> Not we're quite out yet. And we're racing. Uh, right, now yeah, we're, we're out now. He said about two seconds early. That's fine. Yeah. I don't know, did perfect. you get a car link? Eh, it, 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 if it's the leader, it don't matter. Oh, Jesus, the start just let it fly. That was from practice. 
and already passed the lead. Okay. Oh, and we have a curse in the back. I think it was oh, a 98. Boy, Wait, no, it was a blue car. We're going to race the line because, uh... Man, that sucks. They wrecked on lap one. That makes me angry. Well, boys, it's going to be a long night. <laughs> I hope not. All right, Aztec Love It looks to lead his first laps of the season uh, as he comes to the yellow flag and will take the lead. What the heck happened? Clearly, it was some doof goofus in the back does not know how to drive, and I'm assuming the 37 was involved somewhere in that. Some goober decided it would be a great idea to wreck. Alright, so we'll just go forward here. Again, just probably had a great view of it. It was off of turn two. And it was, oh, uh, the 21 got into the 30. This was very far back in the pack. Oh, boy. Yeah, unfortunate. Uh, oh, boy. And may have also gotten to uh, the three of Jeremy Frey. Let's get a good idea of what happened here. Uh, looks like, I don't know how to call that. I'm going to have to go back a little bit further. Um, three guys want one, one spot. Two of my guys are in it. So it looks like uh, three guys are wanting one spot. The 21, so he lifts to avoid the 21, but the three goes down. 21 slides up, avoiding the 30. Nowhere to go. Hard in the wall. Uh, right in front of potential points leader space guide. 37 with damage. 101, maybe some slight damage. I don't know if the 22 has a whole lot of damage, but that's going to hinder him a bit for sure. Uh... I'm not sure what happened to the three. The three may have just simply saved it. I think they did. What the heck was saved if he did? Funny enough, these two, they go at it all the time in a voice call. And now they got it on the track. That's great. Nice save by the three. So, uh, avoidable crash on lap one. It's just too many cars going for one spot, pretty much. Uh, 30 car, or maybe still in the race. 17 has had several issues this season. Uh, I believe they're involved in that as well. And then the uh, 22 uh, still on track. It uh, didn't look like they have a whole lot of damage on the front end, but. Yeah, he's good to go. He's fine. We'll have to see if there's any internal issues. Uh, I think he slowed down pretty good, though. So, leader Aztec yeah, Lovett. 72, leading his first career laps. We're going to green this time because. Why not? Exactly. That lines up. Got yep, we gotta watch that 43 car, make sure he does not jump the start. If he does, that'd be pretty disappointing. It says he's actually, I think, um, he's trying to start a top 10 streak. Uh, trying to get a top 10 in today. Bull sitter fell back pretty quick. But, uh,. Hopefully we get a green, clean start here and this we don't have to penalize nobody. That would, that would just make this race even worse that we already had a wreck on lap one. But I think if they can keep it clean enough, we can stay crossing free. Uh, unfortunately, Cooper getting two races in a row. He had points to show for it last race. This race won't be the same. But uh, we'll see. Uh, if they can keep it clean for a couple laps, I think we're good. But uh, they weren't even able to keep it clean for half a lap there. Flight too much aggressive on one driver in the back, so we'll have to see. And they're off. Alright, make sure it's not a car length, and that restart is clean. Man, they're gonna wreck in turn two, aren't they? I'm gonna keep with these guys, because, like, I know there's gonna be a pass to the lead. Called it. Whoa, almost wrecked in the back 18, but they kept it clean. Patrick Miller almost spun out there, but like I said, kept it clean. Frank Chilton uh, has gotten up here. Oh no, 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 oh gosh, they almost died. Alright, Monster in 33 leading his first. Holy crap, these guys are racing way too hard. Somehow still green. We are actually going to get a green flag lap in. 
somehow. All right, Monster leading his first career lap of the, I think first career lap, if not first career laps for sure. And three wide for second, that cannot be good. Holy guacamole, they saved it. Kappa in the 98. Uh, it's making only their second start in the NCCRS. Just about wrecked there. Frank Chilton in third, holy crap. And Victor Munez up here as well, one of the other rookies. Are we still green? Like, I'm just somewhat stunned that we're still under, wow. All right. Almost wrecked there, but kept it clean. Back to the front, as we may have a battle for the lead. Battle for third, certainly. May start to see some pulling away from some drivers. Battle for third is heating up. And battle for... I, I, I keep in mind, actually, the 72 and the 4 are teammates. The uh, only two Wood Brothers racing cars in the field. 72 has definitely been the underperforming car on that team, but... uh. Trying to make most of his run today as uh, Frank Shelton loses a couple spots to Saber Fox and Victor Nunez in the 20 and the 87. <laughs> 87 of Saber Fox trying to get underneath the 20 right now for third. That and M&M's Camaro kind of slapped the wall back there, but he's still fine. I'm impressed. Uh, he's running in the top 10. That's uh, impressive He's enough. doing well. He's doing very well. Points lead situation. There's the other 71. Let's go, man. We were talking about how Frank Chilton and Shred are in points. Shred is in 10th. Frank Chilton falling back, but currently ahead. So it would be a points gain if this race would end right now. But Shred still hold the points hey, lead. Hey, Zach. Hey, Zach. What? Y'all better watch that 18, because here he comes. Yeah, he just took... He's in fourth. Yeah, took it away from Victor Nunez. Here comes the 71. Check on the uh, 22 as a 72 trying to get. Oh, let's check on the 72 because it looks like he's trying to take that lead back from the 33 of Monster. Man, it's actually some great green flag racing. I'm impressed. Don't say that you'll jinx it. Still though, like this is a good green flag run. Even if that was a jinx, like yeah, we're getting yeah. a green flag run in. That has already made folks. the race bet. This has already made this race great. It's Indy. It is Indy. It has already nothing made this race good. So, like, nothing can make and this race bad now. Yeah, and I'm just going to say it's real trippy seeing that orange dodge. <laughs> oh, crash in the back. I did jinx it. Yeah, boy. Here we go. Several cars involved. Oskin. Nimrod on her roof. 48 involved. Who was the pull sitter? The one, the three. Several cars involved. Del J. Toledo hits El Melinda Jones. I don't know what they're thinking. They made it through. Wow. <laughs> Tato made it through. Let's see what happened here. The 87. Oh, hold up. That was weird. I think the track may have glitched a little bit. I gotta be careful here. Make sure my game don't crash. Oh, 20. Nimrod full sent it. That is a very Nimrod like approach. Marker Leonard involved. Caused Jeremy Frey. Jimmy Start. Monaco almost avoided it. Ryan Cole. Clifton. Oh, it's getting the three hit the wall up there. And later involving the 48, the 58. Tato did get involved along with Pox Kozart. Nah, I did. And then the 07 and the 04 came plowing in somewhere. Yeah, plowed into 06. Also plowed into someone up there. He's going to plow into the three, I think. No, the 58. He's going to plow into the 58. 54 got damaged as well. Uh, 22 was involved, but again, I don't think he was heavily involved. It looks pretty bad from the helicopter. That's just how helicopter... Well, uh, he spun out after that. I don't think he got a lot of damage. Yeah, no. He got very minimal damage. Oh, uh, well, no. He hit that 07 and pretty hard. It's, it's the door. It's well, the right door. It's... Nah, he's done. He's out. Nah. That's going to kill his chances for the points lead. Alright, so let's go back to our pace car. I don't know who won the bat. Looks like the 87 took the lead. That's actually very big for points because he is right there in point situation. Right now, I'd say he's uh, one of the favorites for the championship right now. I'm going to go to pit lane one real quick. Pause. Turn on my AXE. Above the cut line or below the cut line? Who? Patrick Miller. He is below the cut line. Who 
go over DNS shortly once I get this pace car wrangled. Alright, let's see if he... Okay, so pace car is wrangled. Let's take a look at our retirees. Not fast lap. Alright, we got a well on your list. Alright, first retirees of the race. 22 is space uh, guide. Unfortunately, we'll call the day before everyone else. LJ Toledo, Anthony McClure, Jeremy Frey, Nimrod, Potato Boy, I'm not sure. Uh, he'll have to make another lap around if not. Um, Melinda Jones, who is doing well. Um, then uh, the 30 of uh, Cooper, who was involved in the first wreck, I think, is along along with that second wreck. Um, that, well, I got to order well, some more parts. That's just great. And 22, another bill. Yeah, 22 also wrecked. So from uh, yeah, all three of them, probably that's that's not great. And uh, uh, Byron Webb uh, involved. Pox Cozart, who was just below the cut line, and Marker Leonard in his second race will get his first DNF of his career. And we'll see if Potato Boy is still in it. It showed he was. Unfortunately, no, that's not the case. He is out. So, no, all through will DNF for KK Racing. Not a great day in the shop. I did jinx that Warm one. money. That, that, that's real great. <laughs> Yikes. Potato Boy. Potato Boy is still above the cut line, but I, I don't know if after this race that's going to stay the case. We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, all right. Well, I will tell everybody next year Potato and Space will be in cut. Uh, I'm gonna have to check that restart. 72 is close. Uh, yeah. Mm, I think yep. he's good. What? I think, cause you see his rear end's right there. I was gonna go to his. I don't want to stay here too long, but uh, you know what? I think it, I think we're gonna have to call him, call him into the, call him into the. I won't do it this lap while he's getting passed, cause I don't want him to cause a wreck going in, but. I'm gonna have to send him to the. I'm gonna have to give him black. Ooh. And if a yellow comes out before he uh, ends up pitting, I'll have to yell him. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Yeah, he, he's going to have to be penalized for that. I'm gonna go ahead and. Yeah. 72 did not make the start. Clean. 18 in the wall. Patrick Miller got in the wall hard. Cost him a ton of time. Allowed a lot of cars on the bottom to get around, including uh, cars that we've seen uh, not perform so well. Uh, Vince Freeze has had a rough patch right now. But Tatna on the 71, leading the first laps of his career, um, pretty much. 72 dipping down to pit road. Oh, I did not think he was going to do it like that, but he will go ahead and serve his penalty. Uh, that... Uh, Wow, with him doing that, that left a big gap there. So he has a big lead now. Keep in mind, we are closing laps of this race. It's a fairly short race. Azrael Dreamer in third. We don't usually see him up here. And Tufty Terror, who has been surprisingly consistent the past few races. Under the radar consistent, I'll say. Passed for third on the, 80, the 87. Super Fox has been really quick. Just... Other people, oh my gosh, she slid in that corner hard. That was not going to work. Tried it. Rabina Gonzalez trying to get a, a top five streak going. That teammate oh, car wreck in the back. 46 of Craig Pockris. I think he saved it. No, he did. He did. What did the, but the yellow did come out, however. Ah. So we're going to be going into overtime. We'll see what happened. Uh, Patrick Miller lost a ton of spots there. We'll see what happened. This may have started with the 83. All right, so they're going. Let's go slow enough. So they're ignore the damage on the back. That's just helicopter cam. So 81 hit the 83. They hit the wall. 46 just nowhere to go. He was holding his line, and 18 was there. Uh, everyone else. Saved it. Uh, Frank Chilton lost a, quite a few spots there to the points leader Shred at the line when they crossed it. I believe they, they were under yellow conditions. Leader at the line, I believe, was the 87, but the 75 was challenging for third at the time. No, the 71 was the leader. So um, we will have overtime. 
and to make sure I don't mess up the whole system I'm gonna let the pace car do its thing I don't want to one lap I don't want a one lap shootout here for this so I'm gonna let it go to overtime we'll kind of go through the top 10 a little bit get some discussions in the Tottenham the 71 M&M's car arguably one of my favorite schemes I've painted it took me a good two hours to make um, it, definitely the underperforming car for Dom Patrol. They've had a lot of, the team has had a lot of, uh, stuff happen in the past few weeks with, uh, two drivers being signed off of their team, um, to the highest performing of the season so far. They just won last week too, so they could get back-to-back -back wins in the NC Soros if the 71 is able to hold the lead. Nonetheless, great points today. Um, he's far back in points. I don't think it's going to be a solidifying career moment for this year but nonetheless running great 93 kind of the same points position as the 71 not much else to say he's gonna have to sign with a new team next season Adriel dreamer best run they've had all season been mediocre at best uh running their own team not much else to say there saber fox two wins currently a championship favorite of sort in the wins category and consistency still above the playoff bubble unlike alex tanker who is just a few spots behind it was less consistent. We're being exhausted. Huh? Is that yelling at me, Pete? I'm going to go with uh, Azriel Dreamer in that 75. Wait. That's my pick. Whoa. Game goes a little bit there. i got to be careful. All right. Bobby, who you got? I'm keeping, uh, keeping my bets on the uh, 71 up front. Got to go for another 71. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm going to go 75. I think he's going to take the cake. He's, he's done very well. Uh, I think he's going to get it. I'm going to like I originally timed out there. Um, but like I was saying, Rubina Gonzalez, solid in points inside the bubble. Looking for a great another top 10 day today. Michael Michael Guerra, same situation as Rubina Gonzalez, just not above the cut lines, actually faring very poorly in points. I wouldn't say very poorly, but fairly poorly. Alex Tanker, two wins this season. Isn't as consistent. Just below the cut line by just a few spots. So I wouldn't count him out. He's in seventh. And then fifth place is, or no, eighth place is Santa Messi, who's been... Very consistent. I uh, had a bad race last week, but uh, looking to rebound. Get a good finish today. Then ninth place, Ian Styles of 45. Got one win at New Hampshire. Not much else to say. And then Captain Consistency, looking for his first top 10 since the end of the consistency. If he can get some consistency going. Captain Consistency. Wow. Yeah, he got like six. <laughs> he got six wins in a row in his first start. Hasn't made any noise since. And uh, he's one point. He's a. Uh, Five points above the cut line and 16th, so it's a great place to be, great timing. So, going to hopefully gain okay. on that today with a top 10, being his first top 10 since his last top 10, which was a six straight top 10 streak, which ended at Bristol Dirt, or Bristol, I can't remember. But again, we're going to be going overtime once the pace car says we're good. I'm just not going to skip the pace laps to ensure there's not any issues with the running order or whatnot. I don't want to mess any of that up. Now, also want to talk about some guys. They gonna go full spin. Well, we've seen Nimrod do that in turn two, and we've seen what happened after that. So far, three wrecks so far. That last one, very not bad. Craig Pockers has had a very disappointing uh, rookie season. Um, his teammate has a really been the only one been doing better. Now he's got two new teammates that just debuted um, last week. Then one of them's already out of the race and. Yeah, well, that's funny. The Pepsi and Coke car are starting beside each other. That is ironic. Yes, 55 and 57. They actually start. They've actually finished one two at Kansas. Funny you said that. That's funny. And yeah, one's a Chevy, one's a Ford. That that's yeah. great. And the yeah, and then and then uh the one one of them won the race just before that race, and the other one the rat race at. So that was even funnier. There's wow, actually, wait a minute, there's three of them. Yeah, there's three Coca-Cola cars. There's the what 101, the world? 101, 
the uh, 22 and the 57 cars, and there's only two Pepsi right, cars. Folks, only... You're about to, see, uh, about to see Cola Wars live in front of you. Yeah, there's only one Pepsi car in this series. It's the 55, and then the CCS, we got two Pepsi cars, the 44 and 91, and then one Coke car, and that's Quadruped. Hey, Zach. Touch back on the 97. Two stray? Yes. Yeah, he's in 10th. Actually, highest running roach racing car is the 63. Right behind him is uh, uh, 98, who's in his second race. One of my, one of my new drivers. Oh uh, yeah, Kyler Sustray got signed over to Fogelman. Uh, was it Spearhead Motorsports? Yeah, Spearhead Motorsports. I don't even know. He's changed that name like so many times in the past few days. All right. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Little tidbit there. He's gonna make his Cup debut soon. Or not? Not must mention. But we're going green this time. We're going to be having a two-lap shootout. And it may not be our last one. We'll have to see. Overall, great race. Can't complain. Just my opinion. One, two. Wait, we only got two non-rookies in the top five. It's double zero ninety three. Ignore the rookie stripes on the double zero. I forgot to remove those when I was painting their car. But, eh, nonetheless. We'll see how it goes. Watch the 93 on the start. Make sure he does not make a restart violation. Again, car length is the rule. And the 72 barely met it to the point where I just ended up de uh, blacking him anyway. I wonder where he's at. He's probably in the back somewhere. That that uh, caution saved his butt, though. And we're off. Oh. Okay, I think he's good. Just to double that, check. I'll call that close and tell. I don't think it was that actually was that close. Bumper. That yeah, that was on the bumper. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's good. All right. All right. Watch that 71 down here in turn three. I knew it. There he goes. There he goes. Full send. Oh, he's full sent it. He full sent it. Opens the door for the others. It does. That 75 run on the tail end. Great run off of. Uh, Going to get a great run off of four here. That 75 is. Blocks the 93. Oh, they save oh. it in the back as the 101. Oh, no, they don't. They don't save it. <laughs> they don't save it. Uh, <clears throat> try it again. Ooh. Goodbye, chassis. I think we're going to go again. If not, that's our finishing results. I'm not sure if we're going to go again or not, but I think we're going to go for another attempt at this. It's just going to be more laps in the bank for the 71. I seen it in the back, and I thought briefly, like, oh, wait, what if he hits that wall? And he Kapow. did. Yeah. I'll see what happened. Uh, off of four. 37 again, just con. This was for 25th. That YouTube car. Mm. Yep. They're almost four wide here with the 88 and the 25 as well. Let's see what? Let's go slow mo. Yeah, 80. The 101 just slid up in a 25, which and then 37. Yeah, he just couldn't slow up. Yeah, he tagged him, and then it was on. Yeah, I mean they saved it, but the old fairly little... enough. But he tried. Ran out of racetrack. Kapow. As the that is bad equivalent to Sam Oskins, uh head-on collision at Coca-Cola Super Speedway, uh, with the pit wall. There are a lot of Coca-Cola references. That was at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. He hit that. We were just talking about Coca-Cola, and now Coca-Cola is in the wall. How is he still yeah, alive? How is he still alive? What? Huh? What the? What the heck? What the? What? The, what, the, what, the, what, the, what? How did he? What? I'm not even going to question it. I'm you know not what? even going to hey, question it. He's a champ. Let him run. I'm not even going to question uh, it. Hey. Just, you know what? It never happened. Let's just keep going. It never happened. <laughs> I'm not going to question it. Alright, anyway, 72. He's back in uh, contention. What one... a champ. <laughs> Evil Knievel stuff right here. Alright. Uh, everyone's safe from the uh, uh, manual disqual. <laughs> everyone's safe from the manual um, DNF. As we're gonna only have a couple laps left. How in the heck do you repair all that? Uh, 
Right. The only car in this field that is not signed with a team has the Boiler worst on possible hand. outcome with the best possible result. I mean, technically he's on my team, but like, I don't want to like be like everyone wanting to join my team, so it's that's kind of F1 weird. driver and a backup car. Yeah, he's like one of those guys no one would hire, so that's kind of sad. But yeah, because he's inactive as heck, he hasn't said anything, so he might end up not having to run next season. But well, never have I ever before, but. That is a first. Sure enough, he is back where he's at. All right, so this uh, restart looking almost identical to the last one, which uh, don't know what to think. Don't know what to think. Do we see any? Did, did we see any uh, losers? Losers uh, sneaking in the top ten while I wasn't looking. Let's see, tenth place was uh, what? In Styles? No, it was a. Uh, yeah, someone. I think uh, so. Anyway, we have a new top ten. So eighth place is. Uh, Mikhail Aguero, ninth place is Sum Dan, Six Flame, and then tenth place is Victor Nunez. And again, I'm just gonna let these laps play out for the fact that I do not want to mess up anything. And uh, I know that kind of helps the 71, giving them extra laps led. Every point, every lap led is a point. Hoping we go green this time. If not, I'm just gonna have to find something else to occupy time. Cause yeah, so this race is. Yeah, they're not going to go this time. So we're going to kind of go through the field again, except not so much. Talk 72. Started. Uh, he's probably, he was in the run for the most off sled until these overtimes happened and got screwed over on the restart. Uh, he screwed himself pretty much. Jimmy has, everyone behind him has damaged. The 40, 46, uh, probably not, not really in contention. Every week that four car qualifies better than every the past three weeks that four cars qualified better than the 73 and has finished behind him. So far that trend looks to continue as the 73 once again may just prevail enough to keep that points lead. But mid pack, we'll see how that affects them. Hey, um, Zach. Yeah, Reggie. Hey, Zach. Are we? Are y'all changing your picks or what? We're keeping the same. I'm gonna keep it the 75. Um. <laughs> I think they still got it. Bobby? I'm still sticking with that 71, man. He has kept a run on. Almost there with the double zero. But, I hope they did. Y'all better look who's at seven. Yes, sir, Stiles. God, we go from Coke to Powerade. <laughs> a lot of drinks in the field. Heck, we even got a energy drink in the field. Uh, uh, another one that's... I don't even know if they're still in the race. Yeah, they Red are. Bull. I'm just waiting for a Clint Boyer, Jack Daniels car, and a Red Bull car. <laughs> we don't funny. have a Jack Daniels car. We do have a Red Bull car. We do have a Jack Daniels car, is that... Where? Coming next season? It's not in this field now, is it? Oh, we even got Sunny D. Oh, no. Rowdy Energy in the 46. Reggie, Dang. don't get any ideas, please. It's crazy. All right, so back to the pace car. What's what's they cooking there in race control? All right. It's going to be on the spike car, so. No. Ooh, the spike. Okay, we're right. good. We're good. Really? I didn't have it on my side. Yeah, it might have just been through a uh, call. It's okay though. Okay. Yeah, that's not. What are we doing? I... This uh, may be our last attempt at overtime. If not, dang, it's gonna be a long race. People can't keep working one lap. All these wrecks we've had today have been pretty avoidable. Mostly full sends and going in too deep. Let's see what is cooked. Okay, that was a little bit of a lag spike there, but we'll see. Patat and the 71, definitely in contention for most laps led. It's definitely, uh, I just don't know what to say. They really it's outdone themselves, really. Same for the 93.75. Nah, they're going right, to gonna bunch up here right now. Oh, boy. Final restart, maybe we could see an over overtime, unlimited overtimes. If uh, that would be, it may, I'm de-stunned if this goes that far. But 
Yeah, we'll see. 50 no, laps of Indianapolis. Oh my gosh. <laughs> D don't even. Don't even. <laughs> Well, that would be the most. Mis I would just get rid of the overtime rule if that happened. Just not even like screw this. I'm not doing this no more. <laughs> screw these overtimes. Oh, I mean, if I might get to that point. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, wouldn't be down about it. it. May not be a bad idea. That, that's a horrible idea. <laughs> oh, that's not looking good. Yeah, 93 is gonna get. Oh wait, no, 71 has an issue. No wow. penalty, 71 has an issue. I am not giving a penalty, that 71 just choked the start hard and it choked everyone else's chances too. I will not penalize for the fact that he had a mechanical issue. Of sort. Something of that nature. Missed a shift or something. Double zero. Reggie Fogelman, how did you... It's not over, but like, still, dog. How do you... How do you... Throw this crap. Still green. They make it to the white. Next flag ends it. 71 choked his one chance to win and had a good finish too. A little bit of lag spike there. We're still green. Wait. Yeah, coming to the white flag now. 87 looking for win number three. Going to get around on the bottom. Let's see if it sticks. One lap to go. Saber Fox in the 87. This is for win number three if he can hold it. Michael Garrow gets around the 20 for third. Maybe. That 20 may try to cross over here. He has a run. Double zero has not won a race. I don't know when the last time he won a race was. I'll have to check the record books, but he may try it here. Coming off turn four, he's got one more shot. I don't know. Run a little lower. I don't think he's got it. Saber Fox in the 87. Win number it. three. For the 87 and Dodge. Indy. Nothing. And that will do it. Saber Fox steals one. Teammates, one, two, three. Somewhat teammates, yeah. And Batana, with a mechanical issue, will finish 30th. It could have been worse. I'll say that much. But no penalty to the 93. Yeah, he could end up with three just totaled race cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was he out of gas? I think he, I think he uh, lost one of his shifts. I'll actually go to his cockpit see what happened. That was that last restart right here. Let's go to his cockpit see what happened. Oh yeah, you're seeing him rev up there. I mean, that might be normal. I'm not sure, but something he, he yeah, totally failed. Die. I mean, even if he just failed the restart, I can't penalize someone if you fail a restart that bad. If you can't keep that much pace and you, you don't, the other guy doesn't deserve a penalty. I mean, I could probably tell by the engine. Let's listen. Oh yeah. No, it's not. It's shifting. He just. I think he just no, had a bad start. Internal. No, 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 it's internal. Yeah. That yeah, something's slipping. It's probably oh, yeah. a clutch of transmission. Yeah, look at that. He's maxing out yeah. there again. He shouldn't be shifting like that. He should be slow shifting into it, but no, it's something in the transmission that most likely broke. Yeah, look how much faster everyone else is than him still. It's probably, that's maybe, that's possibly the clutch. Can, it, can the clutch break in this game? Yeah, clutch can break. Yeah. That's it. Usually the crutch bricks though, usually cause you to wreck, but you got lucky there, I guess. It's the slip. It's, it's just, it's slipping. I'm amazed it's to no finish the race in that clutch. car. It's just gone. And he did good, and as long as he finished, I mean, no, that's all that matters. Good race. Yeah, came home 30th. Just lost a lot of spots. Uh, can't, can't shake him though. I can't, can't shake him. Uh, that four car did pass the 73, somehow. He just got passed by a Coke, Pepsi, and a Red Bull car. <laughs> I mean, he was in a Sunny D car. <laughs> that 101 car oh was my. doomed out of the race. Where'd that 101 car finish? I gotta see this. Where'd he finish? 
Man, he finished 29th. Evil Knievel, you mean? Yeah, Evil Knievel. That's his new nickname. We'll call him Evil Knievel. That's going in the books. Yeah, Evil Knievel, 29th. <laughs> I cannot. That man has done the impossible. His car was more wrinkled up in that 07. Hit that wall head on. Somehow they repaired it. I don't know even going to ask. Somehow, some way. If they're able to defy the odds of the ways of physics like that, I'm not going to turn away a points finish. All right. Well, that is Dude, all I got. praying God answered. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Saber Fox, win number three. First person to go three wins in the season. He is definitely a championship favorite now. Uh, in some people's eyes, obviously, not everyone. But uh, any last thoughts? Hell of a race. Besides the fact that I got to go back to the shop and fix three broken race cars. But, you know, eh, it was good. I liked it. Really good. Reggie? All right, I guess he's bugging. Well, anyways, um, from Zach Rowe 3 TV, this is uh, and, uh, Bobby Isaac and Reggie Fogelman. This is the NCCRS in Indianapolis. And we'll see you next time.